Hello guys and welcome back to Dragon Ball Fighters here at Combo Breaker 2022. Final part of top 48 coming up tonight and Damascus here to walk you through it. What's going on, dude? The vibes are in shambles oh, as a European man. representative. But as a Dragon Ball fan, it's never been a better time. Rivalry is at, uh, at an all-time high. The French and Europeans are getting dropped into losers left, right and center. And we're going for the second part of this top 48 with a couple of banger oh, sets hey, coming stop. up to see who joins the previously qualified. Our first game is going to be a rematch from yesterday's uh, crew battle yes. between the NA and EU. As Kane is coming on the stage to face Nitro. Nitro, who is, um, before the tournament began, was undoubtedly US's strongest player. Now, <laughs> uh, the way Zane's playing, I don't know. It could it could swing either way, but yes, Nitro will be going up against Kane. Nitro yeah. is always a pleasure to watch. Um, you know, just on so many tournaments we've seen this guy yeah. just do work, damage. Yeah. And uh, you know, he's the he's the national, he's the regional champion for the US. You know, officially, that's his title. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how Kane adapts from yesterday. Different team today, I imagine. I imagine because for those of you who missed it uh, yesterday, we uh, had Kane played. Blue, Vegeta, Super Baby, and GT Goku. GT, yeah. And he only had to win the first one against Nitro, so he won the first one. But, you know, first ones are not a big thing, right? They don't mean much. Right now, it's the true thing. It's the first two is to get into that top 24 winners, is to get into a position where you are one match away from being in top eight. And this is a banger match that could very much be, you know, a top eight or a grand finals of a major tournament. And we're having it that early. That is how stacked this tournament is. Absolutely. It is not uh, meme teams anymore. It is try hard mode. We're going to sweat out here. Let's see. Kane, I'm sure he's going to play that uh, lab coat 21 team. Um, Nitro, of course. Both of them will. We're going to be seeing a lot of that. And this is to qualify who makes it into top 24 in the winner's side. Yep. Um, of course, the loser of this one will drop down into the loser's bracket. And it is a shark tank down there, let me tell you. It is looking wild. It's looking wild. You had some players who also dropped into losers quite early. Uh, I think especially of Inzem, uh, Kasuga. Like you have quite like a, a, a good amount of sharks in that loser's bracket. So trying to make sure you don't get there early. And it looks like, yes, Kane going for his main tournament team these days, which is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Lab code and TN, and this team is insane because oh, I yeah. think even debuffed, it, it can still two touch you. <laughs> That's how good that team is in terms of damage. It, yeah, Kane always adapts. You know what I like about Kane? Yeah, he always adapts his team to the meta. He never gets stuck with the same rhythm. You know, he's always switching things up. Yeah. And with a fast, a fastly uh, evolving scene like the French scene, you kind of have to do that to, 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 to keep to you know to stay on top and stay relevant. Yeah. So um, yeah, Kane always adapting with the times. Nitro as well, doing that out here on the, on the East Coast, but. Let's get it, guys. First game of this block of Dragon Ball Fighters. Let's go. Yeah, those of you who might have missed the NAEU yesterday, Nitro was absolutely on fire, oh, absolutely strong contender to take the entire tournament, obviously, today. Looking really good. The first opening goes to Kane. No conversion from the assist, and he's getting the overhead. First one on this great block on the overhead. Nitro forced to block into the oh. corner and try to escape, but the back jump got caught by the Lariat. Yeah, there we go. The delay on that Lariat. Got the assist in there, the call. And now, here we go. Getting those levels up, and you can see what Kane's going for. Of course, we know level seven will override any kind of debuff you can <laughs> place on Gogeta 4. So, you know, let's try and get it. Yeah, try to debuff my uh, infinite, infinite damage move. Yeah, there you go. I I'm mean, like, I don't care, man. It's, le it's level four already, you know? <laughs> Oh, yeah, straight to the spark. I mean, he will want, he will actually want to keep that Gogeta in, right? There we go, that's it. Platform. I think he's got it now. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, that's it. He's, he's got that's it. it. Can he build the bar? Yeah, that's done. Can he build the bar? Oh, he what? Cannot, he cannot build the bar. He cannot oh, build yeah, the bar. that's right. It was a meter. He had the level seven, but he did not have three bars. But, but now, obviously, because Gogeta is on the back with the Z-change, you can Z-change him in any time. Right? That's right, that's for right. The, for the instant kill. So that's pretty much what he wanted. In the meantime, <laughs> Okay, here we go. Kane now in trouble. Nitro gets that level three off. Let's see where he is in front. Okay, plus frames on deck. Yep, and now you have to wait. Oh, that's super dash off. I am surprised yeah. Nitro is not 2H. Right? He usually 2Hs those, right? It actually looks like he was looking for it as well, right? He backdashed, mm. took his time, unfortunately, not ready to <laughs> meet this one. Yo, mid combo, Kane was just drinking his rebel. He's like, yo, okay. <laughs> I know you're not going to drop this. <laughs> Uh, like that's cool. That's not dead though. Let me get one. Nope, it is not. So 
So another chance for Kane's lab code 21 to maybe debuff that uh, Android 21 before dying. Another risky super dash. Not happening just yet. Nitro taking his time and Kane does not want to challenge the spark, obviously. That's it. Okay. Nitro just needs one touch on this lab coat, but Kane just dancing around, almost taunting him. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Goku, blue assist, paying off. All it took was the assist to get there. There you go. And there, oh, look thanks. at that. Oh, First touch. Are shaken. <laughs> thanks for playing. We appreciate you Yo. plugging your pad in this PS4. What? Shake my hand. What happened? I don't care about if I'm debuffed, bro. This move does infinite damage. Oh no, oh, you know what does the, uh, damage? Medium Tartar. Oh yeah. Goku Blue as well. He's gonna extend as much he can. He's got the assist ready as well, but he's just gonna come into the corner, putting the pressure. Yo. Oh, he got caught by the assist there. That was sick from Nitro, man. That Nitro is on another level. That was so good. And now it's Tien, which means it's pretty much one touch territory on both characters. Kane looking to bring it back. Nitro is being patient right I, now. I mean, Tien can do it, and this is a, a, a Tien, uh, you know, this is unfiltered Tien. This is no debuff. Yeah. No debuff, limit break, everything. He's not gonna challenge him in the air just yet. A any hit, though, will we'll, we'll lead to it. Oh, there you the go. Dragon Rush gonna surprise him, though. And here we go. That's that Tien's damage about to be. Uh, yep. Knockdown time. Spin to win. Debuff. Maybe level three behind? No. Just not gonna debuff there. Forces Kane to block right now. Kane, you forced to block. Good one. And that's when you got cancel indeed against Lapco 21. But the challenge goes straight to Nitro in the air. That Lapco is debuff, right? But there's Goku Blue behind. Level, five. level 5. Yep, that is the extremely smart way to finish this one. Nitro is still looking on a mission just as on point as yesterday. And he's going to take game number one over Kane. Beautiful stuff, man. I love watching these, these players go at it, man. Like when you're watching the world class level of Dragon Fighters, it's just so cool to watch. Absolutely. You, you can't be beat, man. Okay, here we go. Back in. Oh, the respect. Look at the respect. Yes. I like this. Kane was literally standing like, I am not taking any risk. You're the one coming, not me. First opening goes to Kane Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I, I feel like if you do ever get that level 7, I say don't. Even if you get one touch, don't waste it on any character apart from Labco. Because yeah. she is the problem. Yeah. She is the one that's going to neuter your damage output, you know? Yeah, you definitely want to go for this one. I think the reason why he knows is because Labco was already like half off. So she was pretty much one touch away regardless. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, decided to use it on the full health character, which makes sense. An extremely strong start from Kane this time, eliminating the Goku Blue very early, but finishing with Tien. So he's putting Tien on point against Labco 21. Mm. Nitro is using the Astro A40 pad. For those of you that want to know. Yep. C40, I think it is. But yeah, it's an Astro pad. Okay. All right, dash block full screen. But the key blast war is won by Nitro's lap court. And a great situation to make Tien a character with normal damage output. No debuff yet. Oh, no conversion. He got both assists. Yeah, well. both assists as well, yeah. And he's got to wait for the cooldown. That's exactly what he's doing, Tien. He's just waiting. Kane is absolutely not engaging while he doesn't have an assist. Not taking the risk because, of course, if you play against Labco 21, right, you're always under the risk of a spin coming out. Yeah, that, <laughs> there you go. I'm going to shut up for a second. Right on cue. <laughs> I mean, it's it's whenever she's on the stream, it, it, you know, you, you just say that and it, and, and, and it happens. It's like it's on cue. Yeah. It's just I mean, such a good tool. It's like if you're not doing it, then why? Yeah, so it's, oh, that was oh, really nice. Wow. That was really way. Good way to open Nitro up. Not ready to punish that command grab there, and that's going to be a sliding knockdown. Okay, very little damage, obviously, but he's going straight for Lapco 21 to play the mirror match. But the bad slide is going to be punished by Nitro. Side swap? No, just keep. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Of course, it's going to happen. Yep. I feel like even if lab, your, your own lab coat 21 gets debuffed, yeah, it's kind of annoying, but you know, she's still alive at the end of the day. Yeah, so yeah. She can still debuff others. Yeah, that's what I mean. Right? Oh my god, wow. that was deep as hell. Yeah, that was crazy. That that perfect spacing for the cross up is so good. Yeah, he's gonna spark, of course. He would want the kill. And that is a smart one. It's one of the things. Use your resources to take the lab coat 21 out. That is what Nitro ended up doing. Yep. Kane now 
in trouble. He's looking for the way in. Yeah, that was an excellent decision from Nitro, I have to say. Okay, Ooh, Kano sparks up. Oh, Ooh. to bait out the 2 X. That was so good. That was extremely smart, man. Kane, of course, super ready on this. And he's looking, yep, to beat the barrier on this. Watch out, Nitro with a cross up. He's going to open Kane up. Another big damage into the level 3 mix. No, that's going to be dropped. Oh, man, so clutch right now. Nitro. There it is. Oh, go again. Yeah, this time he's not in a challenge at all. Let's see what we're doing. Oh, of oh. course, the command grab. We tend to forget that this character has a command grab. Look at the damage. But Armored command grab, TM. You know? Oh, here we go. He needs it. Maybe blocking right now. Keeping it plus. But not pressing any button on Nitro's side. This time, obviously, Nitro does not want to give that game to Kane. And make oh, it a game three. Gets the opening. That should be a dead TM. Yeah. Tension hand going to go down now. All right. Show Here him the door. One to one. And it's all up to this Gogeta 4 for Kane. Let's see if the GT guy can do it. He's debuffed as well, right? So it's a lot of work to put. Oh. For Gogeta. He's trying to keep it tight, but Nitro might keep. Oh, Ooh, wait a second. He got that, a hit, that, though. That, yeah, that traded, but he's getting what he wanted anyway. Anytime he can get a bit more. Oh, gets the opening. I. I think Debuff. if you optimize this, yeah. this is enough. Yeah. Mm, Tyrant, I don't know. I don't think that will be killed because of the debuff. It's going to be... Nah, nah, not, 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 with, not with the debuff. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, she's alive, she's alive, she's alive. Mix. Oh my god, Mix landed. And now it's pretty much a battle of the of the two, of the one touch. A bit harder for Kane to guarantee the one touch there, of course, as his debuff. Nitro has a ton of bars to work with. Plus, plus in neutral, man. I mean... 21 is so annoying to, to get close to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh and there we wait go. a minute! Oh, oh man. Can he, can he build? Oh no, he wanted to get the max damage, there but that's alright! He's getting the overhead Kane! Kane! Clutches game number two, offers us a third game. Nitro was so close, did not want to give him momentum. And look at Kane, he is firing himself up right now. Huge sigh of relief. One more game to stay in winners. He is vibing, bro. He is feeling that win right there. Kept himself in the game. Nitro versus Kane. Let's go. All right, starting off big here with the command grab, and of course, get straight in. Oh, and did not enough bar. Oh, they, 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 he got it. He got the bar with the stomp, but he didn't go for the command, uh, the debuff. Yeah, probably didn't realize. Good block. Nitro's defense is looking clean in the corner. Great reflect as well. The spin is avoided. Oh, now man. it's Kane. Has to block. Watch out for the command grab potentially coming. The overhead's coming. Great escape. Kane still there. The command grab. The target rush. Sorry, it's going to open the man up. The defense has been insane, but Nitro finally finds the opening. And there we go. Nitro going to get this debuff on. And But once again, though, man, Kane's. Okay, we'll spark up. All right. Great one. Oh, he, he got, got two. And he's gonna spark. Bro, this is bad. And that Tien is bleeding behind. Yeah, this is bad. That's over. That Tien's done. That is massive, Taran. That is absolutely massive. The Tien, the damage factory of this team. Wow, not only that, look, he's got the great level three, the good situation for himself. And Kane's spark is gone. That is a massive win for Nitro. Kane now needs a miracle. He's gonna need to be clutch. Point at her, of course. Gonna be able to debuff her and get that super sand for Gogeta in. I mean, if you, yeah, if you debuff. As many of Nitro's characters as possible, yeah. it is possible, I believe. I think that's what he's gonna go for, right? Just tag her in to debuff and then tag her out again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Kane has to play a an immaculate game right now with yeah. Gogeta 4. Absolutely no mistake allowed on your side. Great movement by Nitro getting away from the range of that Gogeta. Whoa. Kane is looking for the opening right now, but the movement is immaculate on both sides. Absolutely, you cannot make a single Whoa. mistake. You went from the low and Nitro. Okay, Nitro reflects out, that was great. Okay, dash up on him, come on, the grab! Well, that's the first time he uses the command grab this set, so obviously it was hard to see that one coming. Great opening from Nitro, it is debuffed, of course, but gets the level 3 into the schmixturization. Do remember that if Gogeta wants, he can not guess about the side and make you guess DP or not DP. The DP is a possibility, but will Kane risk it at this point? No, he gets opened up by the cross-up! Not going to be enough, though, and... Man, it's a good situation for Nitro, but no kill. So he's gonna go for the Dragon Rush knockdown there. He's looking very good for Nitro right now. Kane struggling. Oh no, the drop from Nitro is gonna give Kane an amazing opportunity to just bring a bit back to be able to get some damage in. I don't think can be enough to kill. No, the hits and decay stops him. And now it's a good chance for Nitro to bring it back, get some momentum, maybe tag her out if needed. Kane's blocking now. Wow, Kane just defending. Gets opened up once again. Two times that command grab worked out. He's got the assist here. Yeah, Nitro. 
trying to get every last drop of damage. That should do it. There we go. It does. It does. Nitro looking amazing. And Kane is in a borderline impossible situation right now. A debuff lab coat. No life. One touch situation for Nitro. That all Nitro we need right now. Great use of the spin there. Nice Great block. block by Kane. I cannot believe he was ready for this yeah. one. Nitro smelling blood. Oh! And there we go. The command grab. Beating the sister command grab. Oh. Nitro. Immaculate performance once again. The Nitro handling LLC stocks. <sighs> Are rising again as he's qualifying in winners of the top 24. Kane dropping into losers. That losers bracket is starting to turn into EU bracket, bro. They both had the same idea right at the end. Both had the same idea with the command grab. Nitro's one working out. You're right. European players, so many of them in the losers bracket now, bro. This is their home turf. This is the US of A. And they're not making it easy for defending. these French and European players, man. Damn. Defending the turf. Such a good performance from Nitro. Nitro, we've seen him obviously yesterday at the 8v8 and obviously seen him at an absolutely insane level and he's just confirming, right, like the way he played right now, really putting so much pressure on Kane. That is another of the French into that loose bracket. So far in top 24 winners, there's only one European and it's Shanks. Shanks, yeah. yeah Shanks is the only one who made it into winners. Wade, Wawa, uh, Noka and also now Kane. We'll all happily play each other in losers. And speaking of which, we have another of the French representative coming up. It is Gila, about to face Kite. Another uh, France versus USA showdown. That's been the story of the weekend. Yep. Um, Kite, extremely strong player, but he's playing to win also. Yeah. Top that tiers only. Yeah, super strong from Boston, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Uh, I do believe he's from uh, Boston. I had a good chat with him, and you know, he's he's really. He's really eager to prove his worth, you know, this weekend. He's been really working a lot. I was talking to him. He's like, uh, I mean, you know, obviously, right, as a player who are on, who's on a rise, you have to enter a tournament here to win. You're not here just to, like, play people or anything. You are here to win. Yeah. And that is what Kite is right now. He's looking for his breakout performance. And, you know, potentially sending Gila into losers can be the first of a long series for a very talented player, a very hard worker out there. He's going to have to go through. Gila, and have, I was talking with Gila before uh, this before this one, and Gila is like, listen, when I see my brothers falling, it gives me a Zenkai boost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gila is one of these, like, <laughs> he, you're right, he's, he's one of these very, like, uh, he play, plays on emotion a lot. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. like that's what kind of what fuels him. He, <laughs> yeah, he, he really, really likes that. He likes, like, you know, the stories between the games, and, um, yeah, like, he, he, he's a very emotional player. So it's going to be interesting to see him go up against Kai here. A matchup I've never seen. I don't know if these gentlemen have ever met or in, in a bracket before. So. I don't think so. I do not think so. Quick button check between these two players. Kite versus Gila for the four space in top 24 winners. All first to two, of course. Yes. And we're going all the way to top eight today, guys. So we're going to be able to uh, decide who the final eight are. Top eight, which will happen tomorrow. At 11.30 a.m. CT, players making sure their buttons are good. Uh, push shout out to all of you guys in chat for yes. joining us today for Dragon Ball Fighters at Combo Breaker 2022. Of course, Combo Breaker features a billion games approximately. My count is probably about, about to be correct. So you can follow any game you want on Combo Breaker this weekend. We have got some Dragon Ball. We're going to get some Marvel later on this channel. We get Strive. We get Street Fighter. We get absolutely everything. Skull Girls, Them's Fighting Herd. Vampire Savior, Super Dragon Ball Z, you name it. Any single fighting game you can name is most likely featured at Combo Breaker. It's been a super fun weekend so far. And we are like about halfway through the weekend. And damn, I can't wait to see it go even more and more tense. It's been a fantastic weekend. Really been uh, enjoying my time here. Shout outs to all the Combo uh, Breaker staff here. All the TOs, all the streamers, everyone that's, that's you know pulling together to, to make this fantastic event happen. We've got like... 10 main stages here for like every game you can think of, like you said. But we are here on Tampa Never Sleeps for Dragon Ball Fighters. Guys, press some buttons. We got another excellent match on the way here. Gila versus Kite. Let's go. All right, let's go. It is time for Gila to get the opening without Super Saiyan for Vegeta. I cannot lie, Tant. When this character was released, I was like, this character was designed for Gila. Super, what, Super Saiyan 4? He's, he's a fusion. Gila is a big uh, fusion. Lover, he's played Vegito since day one, right? He's a fusion and he's a monkey gameplay. That is exactly the kind of character you want Gila to have. 
And that is Bro, the character he's been enjoying. He is he is a full ape, you know? Yeah. In every aspect of the word. <laughs> Absolutely. Tight. Looking for the way in. Great patience there for the challenge. He's gonna get him down and the empty jumpy into the knock knock. Bro, if you've never played against Jilla before, it is it is long. It is stressful. Yeah, I think that the first experience against Jilla is always a, an interesting one, to say the least. Just just ask Hook. <laughs> this guy a lot, man. Ask anyone that's played this guy, they'll tell you. We've got a lot. Uh, let's see. Jilla trying to open with a counter. And Kite now chasing Jilla. Looking for the opening. Great one. Gets the dash. Oh, he wanted the cheeky reset. Gets the command grab regard. Okay, nice stuff now. Kite trying to slow things down after losing that Vegito pretty early on. Okay, and the debuff will be on the way here. And this character, yeah, I feel like any of them. Uh, it's, it's a good choice. I mean, getting a debuff off on any, like, when you, that's the problem when you play a lot like, of top-tier team. Um, yeah, it's amazing, you have great options and stuff, but you, the meta right now is this character. Yep. And any time you get scooped, their worth becomes just that little bit less, you know? Definitely is. Especially the characters like Gogeta, Vegito, it's the counter to fusions. It is. Top tier. From Kite getting the opening. Finally, Kite is on the life lead for the first time. This set, debuff. The fellow lab goes oh. 21 and another opening as Jilla is trying to uptake out of this. Kite looking good. That was a medium starter. He's got the assist behind. I do believe he can kill after that. Oh, that's dead, mate. That's yeah, dead. dead. Okay. Hey. Kite holding things together now. Great stuff. What a turnaround. But Jilla is left with his favorite character. The Yosha yeah. man himself. He's played him ever since release. Yeah, he played him before he was cool. I need to have some fun. Make Wait! Sure that oh. can definitely be an issue. He nearly got that, yo, bro. That happy birthday connected, that was over. That would have been absolutely massive. A bit of pressure, but Kite's happy to block, you know? Not not that much to be scared of when you just block Vegito. I love and that. There we go. Up from Jilla after that vanish, the dash block with 5L was so clean. Yeah. Ooh, nice movement! Kite putting a ton of pressure. And there we go. Yep. It's, it's time to give up him. It's time. Making the life much harder yep. for Jilla. Oh, bro, that's just mean. Not again. Oh, do it again! Oh nah. my god! Wow, oh, man, we can see that coming a mile away. So did Jilla. Listen, Fucks up. I respect that. It had to be done. Right, what, do we, what do we get? What do we got? Jilla, oh, no conversion on this one. They're still going for the staircase there. Oh, let's go. For more on the 6M, is going to open him up, but of course. The reset! Okay, this is big. I think even with a deep. No, 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 he can't kill. Deep up is too big. Yeah. Yeah, he's just gonna go. He's gonna have to go for the kill now. Maybe he's gonna have to try and bait that spark from Kite, but Kite must know that. Let's see what the option is gonna be. Okay, there it is. Sparks up. Oh, oh he got them the both. This is so smart. Oh, trying to waste down that spark time. I like that attempt from Jilla. Just take whatever he could. All right, here we go now. Oh no, so quick was there and what a patience by Kite. That was absolutely amazing that getting the 2 age. Kite getting game number one, trying to continue on the American win streak for today. Zilla in trouble, an excellent play by Kite. Man, Kite looking outstanding there. Great stuff. I think Zilla knew that his only way to turn around in that situation and potentially not get punished was to use the full auto combo. Yeah. But, you know, Kite was aware of this, waited for for any kind of mistake from Jilla, and there it was, the Vanish 2H. Beautiful. Yeah, I think a lot of people would have tried to challenge at least the 5L after uh, the 5L from Jilla that was whiffed and everything. Yeah. Uh, Jilla was, uh, Kite, sorry, was smart enough to be patient, wait for this one, and just get the free opening. Excellent play. Jilla needs to put some more pressure. That's right. Okay, here we go. Opening here from Kite. Both assists were spent. He's going to have to try and restore them. Okay, here we go. Building Jilla. Assists on deck. Great defense so far from Kite. Cheeky level up. Oh, it's okay. I haven't opened him up just yet. Let's see what hold the pressure is going to go for that. Kite. Been playing really good. Knows when to uh, interact and when to wait. And a great opening with the Vegito assist, of course. Yep, and that EX dunk. Kite does have Labcoat 21 on deck. There we go. Bring him down. Stomp. Get that grab. Gogeta 4 now, in trouble. Okay. Oh! Dealer with a slight delay there, and I yeah. think he's going to try and delay this as much as possible so we can get the debuff. There yeah, we go. Debuff. Yeah, okay. 
That's the first one. Alright, you had the vanish, so you're not gonna be able to kill on this unfortunate drop, but you know what? Pain without the A, you did not convert, so you would have done so, so much damage from this. Doesn't regardless. matter. Doesn't matter. Here it is. Oh, Debo? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Of course. Okay, and then he's gonna use the level one here. Just to bring Kai over to the corner. I didn't Gila was literally standing. He was not even blocking, he was standing waiting for Kai to land. And then Kai takes this and gets the opening. Okay, into level 3, but don't forget this is a debuff level 3. It would have yeah. been maybe better to go with Vegito. I mean, they're both debuffed, right? Yeah. So. Both of them are not the best uh, solution. So I'm going to be more of a trick. Spark, he wants to save that super time for Vegeta. Yeah. Tap, tap into the vanish for the chase. Good escape by Kite. I like the movement, but the 6M is going to open him up. Okay, Jilla gets a clean hit. This is going to be... How much meter can he build? Oh, oh, no! He missed his 3 jump. That's a shame. Yeah, the dash was not there. Not a good timing. Oh, my God. There we go. He did I not build the third bar. So there's going to be one and one, which is not going to kill. I don't think one of them killed this Spark anyway. Oh, just trying to... Oh, ah! Kite fires back with a spin of his own. Are you spin? Me too. <laughs> See me on a Beyblade match. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, wanted to pick up, but not going to happen just yet. Kite. It's supposed to be in the corner. And you know what? It's a 5LLL. Of course. I was even looking this, to uh, have this, a hard conversion. This is Jilla, bro. <laughs> of course. Are you surprised? Standards. Stand on life. Back to Gogeta. He's really wanting to beat Gogeta despite him being in a, in a one-touch situation. And there we go. You know what? Kite hide right this. And that's the thing. I'm not sh entirely sure why Gila really wanted to get his lower health character in. Well, usually you tend to uh, wait for him. Before. Maybe because he's already been debuffed. So it's like you might as well just have that character in and just yeah. play the game with him, you know? But it can't get any worse, <laughs> essentially. The pickup goes to Gila this time. Stand the man down. I wonder I if the players ever ever like forget who's been debuffed and who hasn't. Oh, <laughs> oh, I think so. <laughs> I wish there was just an indicator on screen. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> like I don't know, a down arrow next to the character in the his face or something. No. How about knowing? Guess in it. Why is Android 21 the only character in this game with an actual display <laughs> on the screen? All right. Android privilege, oh, man. Wow, tight there. That was so clean. The low. All right. Stomp, vanish, trying to get as much damage as he can. Yeah, all right. Not going to kill. Oh, do you know what? This is actually not that great for Kite because he didn't have the bar for the vanish mix now. Has to go for the yeah. jump. Oh, oh there well. we go. Jilla trying to escape. But what did he try there? Maybe jump? I don't know. Who needs mix when you have mid? This is all you need. Jilla is down to Vegito again. Kite's first priority would be to try and nerf and debuff that to Vegito. Of course, of course. That's what you want to do. But considering the character, you are one esports kick away from sending your opponent, your opponent down. That's it. Yo, I'm trying to sort him up. Oh! oh, my God. oh my God. <laughs> Full monkey. I, I can hear the monkey screams <laughs> in Gila's head, hearing the call of nature. Bro, in front. Monkey type beat. Bro. And you know what? I respect that because he's seen earlier. So last time he did level three. Gila went for the 2M because that's what usually can beat that wake up dash block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He saw that Kite is going for the wake up dash block in this situation. So he was like, I'm going to hard read it. Bro! Can I have monkey emotes in the chat? What? Any monkey, anyone you subbed in, can, could this chat be transformed into a jungle real quick? Nah, come on. Could we get some monkey type beats? Bro, this guy, what on earth? <laughs> Swinging! And this is what I said, man. Playing against Gila for the first time in tournament is an experience. It is... You, you can't prepare for this, man. You cannot prepare. Oh, my God. It's actually insane. <laughs> I, mean, I can't believe that. He always gets away with murder, man. Yeah, man. The king of the jungle. We've called him the, kill the, the king of the jungle since, like, season two in France. You know, he's always been the guy. The man who holds the keys to all of the cages well, let's at see. the zoo. I mean, he's here in, uh, in, in top 48 for a reason. Let's see who is going to advance on top 24. Let's go. Let's go. 1-1. One, one. Kite. Still looking good. Gila will have to remain consistent. 
Bro, that super dash was cursed. Great stop, Kai. <laughs> Getting debuffed in the first 10 seconds is just like a bro, really? Like, it's, it's, it's uh, like, come on, man. It's like turn difficulty up. Feels bad moment. All right, I'm playing in deathmatch mode. Let's go. I want to play a real challenge. Let's go. Okay, right. nice. Not much damage, of course. He's just going to go for the debuff. Yeah, he does. Get yeah. that some follow up. Yo! Oh, you know what? I got a debuff too. No respect. No respect. For kites. Can I be forced to block there? I like block it. On the overhead. I like oh, it. No. Oh man. You know what that DP from Kite? That's a I'm onto you moment. <laughs> he's yeah. like, he's like, you wanna play like that? I got you. I, I'm here. I will I will do it. I will do it. What's the pressure gonna be on this? Oh, straight to the spot. Nice. Bro. That's the challenge. This this match has been uh, peak Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh he's been windy games! Just, bro, those so far. These friggin' super dashes, man. Okay. Into the level three. He, he wants the guaranteed mix. Yep. He wants to make Kite guess. Yes. Ooh! That was kind of sick. I got sick. Chad, press one if you got hit. Bro, double dash. I got hit, man. Double empty dash. And then... <laughs> I got hit. That was kind of I nasty. see them once. All of us got hit. Okay, Jilla now. And this is looking real good for him. Three characters left. He does have Spark as well. Kite might be in trouble. Alright, off the block now into the corner. Oh, the Dragon wow, Rush gonna open him up. Nice. So good. No tech from Gila there. Bring him down mid screen, level three. Of course. With excellent mid screen mix now and full stocks for that. Margin 21. What's the mix? Goes in front. Okay, the spark. Good block and the spark from Gila. Alright. Gonna be able to uh, debuff. Can you spell a debuff? <laughs> There we go. There we oh. go. Another one. Kite killed. Oh my god. Kite Yo. No pick up though. Oh. That was cheap. That was yeah, cheap. Gila is, is kind of unhinged right now. Unfortunately, he did not get the conversion. Another chance for Kite to come back. He needs to find the opening on that lap code 21. Not an easy situation. Gets the tail, but no opening. Oh, the super dash. He got two. Okay, he got, and the follow-up, yes, there oh we go. Boy. Oh, he's gonna get Level the point down! Can he kill both? Or oh, is 21 gonna die before? Zwa! Okay, Ah, oh, you know what? The, the sword would have killed, but she died before the sword. Ah, the sword. He wanted them to hit at the same time. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that Vegito came in with like no life and the super dash closed out for Jilla. The pop-off, man, is up out of his chair in one frame. Yeah. There you go. There you Holding go. it down. There you go. And Kane is there, thank you for being the, the only one of us making it through. Shout out to Kite for a great match. We will see him later, of course, in Loser. Still has a chance to continue on the tournament and obviously potentially earn it. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Man like Chilla. Monkey type beat, bro! King of the jungle, bro. This guy is the, the worst <laughs> opponent to play in tournament, I swear. I love Gila as a person. I hate him in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, this guy. Okay, <sighs> fantastic game. But we have another France. Ooh. And this is a banger match, by the way. Another France versus US it's match. It's been banger after banger today, man. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, guys. We have an absolute honor of calling none other than Yasha yeah. going up against the versus game legend Chris G. Ooh. Chris and, and G. That's going to be very interesting because it's kind of a match that Yasha kind of embodies the fusion meta, right? He's been the most optimal fusion meta player, uh, you know, with his double fusion and 17 team, created a team that became really high rated and everything. And Chris G has consistently been the anti-meta. Yes. He's like, you know what? I see your meta and I don't care. I'm going to play like the teams I want. I'm going to play the games the way I want. And I feel like that's a very Chris G approach on pretty much any game. He's always done he it. Plays. Yeah, He's yeah. like, I don't care about how you guys are playing. I will design how I play and see how it works. If it works, cool. If it does not, I'll find another way. So far, it's been doing well. Uh, sent Hikari into losers earlier yes. in the tournament yesterday. And today, we'll have to face Yasha. This is one a match that I don't think we've ever seen in tournaments. So yeah. A lot of firsts today. Yeah, I don't think this has ever happened as far as, uh, as, far as I know anyway. 
Yeah. Bro, he didn't play Morrigan Virgil. He created Morrigan Virgil. Uh, Doom? <laughs> <laughs> Morrigan Doom. He created that meta, bro. Yeah, yeah. He did yeah. not take it from someone else. Bro, it's <laughs> every, the everybody hates Chris meme. <laughs> like, bro, this guy was running Marvel 3. He for makes so you long. hate the game. He was running Marvel 3 for a long time. Oh, my God. Um, uh, bro. It's, the age of. He went on a, on, on a like a Goichi esque streak, you know, with yeah. that with that team. Um, really, really scary stuff. And yeah, he's going to be playing. You know, he plays the, like you said. He plays the teams. Uh, he plays the games the way he wants to play it. So absolutely, Yasha all dripped up as always. Quick button check between these two before we go straight to the match. Another match to go to top twenty four. Only one, uh, two Europeans in top twenty four. The rest are all Americans. Yes, Americans are outnumbering. Are defending the turf today. Let's see how Chris versus Yasha will look. This is going to be a great match, man. Two of my favorite players to watch, actually. <laughs> actually, yeah, yeah. Always has been. Yasha obviously has been has uh, gotten his uh, like claim to fame by winning the European National Championships, uh, winning the European. World Championship Finals with the, the regional finals, winning quite a few tournaments on the French side. He won Stunfest last week with the great grand finals over Shanks. Yeah, that was great. Uh, he won the Z, Z event wanted uh, over Kane, I believe, in grand finals it was. Uh, he won a lot. He won a lot. He's a regional champion. Yep, he has been a uh, make stride, but it's his very early uh, experience abroad, right? He went to BBB and, and did not have the best performance. And he's trying to redeem himself today by performing as well outside of home. But he's got one of the most experienced tournament players on earth to face now with a triple C assist. Chat, your green squares, raise up, press some buttons on the chat. I'm telling you, bro. If you are under Living Legends, you like a green to a blue to green square. Press some buttons, Chris G's for you. Ima imagine, imagine playing ranked on Dragon Ball, and you bump into you, you know, you see, you see this this team come up. You'd be like, "Pah, this is gonna be free." <laughs> yeah. No. Jokes on you, bro. No, I see the buttons. I see all of you guys. Chris G is doing it for you. Chris G is doing it for you, for the true average man who <laughs> plays this game to have fun. Cyberman level, rise up. Demon ranked players. It is time! Chris G versus Yasha. This would be a great match. Let's go. Oh Already God. a great start from Yasha. 2H to start things out, realizing Chris is in the air. Okay. Chase down on the uptick. Here comes Master Roshi. And of course, you know, those uh, tricky Roshi combos. We all know Chris G very adept when it comes to the execution side of things. Always has been. Okay, I mean, D Dragon Ball combo is not as hard as some of the other games he's uh, he's known for, but still, okay, here we go. Right, get the opening there. Chris G, not ready for the Vegito in, and that's going to be a amount of damage for Yasha. And he's down, dashing in. I'm going to try to find the 5M there. Ooh. There we go, the float as well. That's going to be another opening, and that should be dead. Oh, look at the optimization station right there from Yasha. And I like this. I'm not seeing any lab coat to anyone on the screen, guys. There you go. There we go. Big Bang Kamehameha. Level 1-1. One, one. And then one more level 1. The sword. There it is. The sword. Swat! Boom. Slice man up. One down. Two to go. Everything the two touch with the Yasha's team indeed. Oh, there we go. Four Bro. Times, yes, there you go. Big C. The big C. The big C. Into the big buff freezer. <laughs> Level 3 is there. Well, the 100% the, the the power, yeah? Yeah. He's going to be blocking for a while. There is no fish right now. Team save Universe 7, yeah? Oh, I think he won. Oh! The sun Yo! The he saw that and. Yo! Freezer the... flavored Subway sandwich. Mango. <laughs> <laughs> he got stuck in there. Yasha with the awareness and like it, this is this is what I think separates Yasha from a lot of other players, right? He's so ready for all these little tiny situations that you yeah. don't even a lot of players don't even think about. Yeah. He's so prepared. Maybe stop notch and I've, I've always seen Yasha as, as one of the best movements of role. But you know what? The CSCs that track you in the air are actually amazing ways to stop 
players with good movement. Yeah, no because doubt. Because they will lock you down in these situations. Another opening for Chris G. Straight to the spark. Yasha does not want to deal with that pressure. What are we going to go for? Watch out for the barrier. Chris G is happy to wait on this, but that's going to be another opening, building a billion bars to just get that freezer out. Yeah, he's going to get the one bar that he needs. There it is. Bro, that's so good. The synergy that this team has. This team does way too much damage. Yeah, man. it's crazy. It's really crazy. Yasha, the, the person that put this team on the map, you know, in a similar way that Chris G did uh, with Mori Doom and Virgil in Marvel, Yasha did it with this team. Okay. Or just, oh no, I thought he would, uh, they would punish, then go for the right one. Just jump the flips, bro. That's what they said. And Yasha applying this one. Vanish on Vanish. We claim the corner there. All right. Here we go. Chris G trying to stagger. Got good tech from Yasha. He's always ready for those. In front swords. And this is one of the ways that you open up these players with such good reactions. You just... You, you, you use them against them as a weapon, yeah. you know? Yeah. If you want to react fast to the cross-up, you can't. You need to delay that cross-up yeah. as much as you can. And same thing for that. The same side, Super Dash. Getting the ah. opening, but Chris G not getting the conversion. Whoa! Oh, bro, that was ridiculous. He saw that situation. Yasha. He actually did that on reaction. In slow motion, he called the barrier. Yeah, Man. he called the barrier to actually stop him. Yeah. Thankfully, for Chris G, the barrier didn't hit, right? But the, the idea from Yasha was absolutely insane. This man was way too ready. That was a pretty dominant game number one for Yasha. Yeah. Over Chris G. Game two. Oh, again, exact, almost exactly the same as the previous round start. Chris G took to the skies. Yasha was ready for those. Nice choice there. Right. Ooh, oh, he got two. He got one. Master Roshi's in there as well. Oh, but he's not. Uh, okay. Oh, no, great. No, he still got Master Roshi. still there? I thought he went for the wrong one. I thought he went for the wrong one. That is the one. Yasha continuing with this, and Roshi is out. Yeah, and this is going to leave this ah. Ultra Instinct with almost no life. Swap! Not going to kill just yet, but one touch needed. Oh, the, the, the Dragon Rush is going to open him up. Switch the freezer immediately, ah, surely. Yeah, just get that uh, blue life back. There you go. Okay, here we oh. go. Nice tech there from Yasha. Okay. Oh, my dear second hit of auto combo. Wow. Conversions, but unfortunately, drops once right after on this. Okay. There we go. In front now. Okay, the EX goes for the reflect. Chris G trying to just. Man, and I'll tell you what, Yasha's annoying patient neutral is such a. It's just horrible to deal with. Absolutely. Is. Chris G is looking for the way in. And you know, having CSC is actually. It can be good just for to stop the movement, but bad because once you used it, how do you yeah. match the movement? Once you've used it, you know, with only two characters as well, it, and they both have C assist, it's yeah. like you can only call one of those assists in a blue moon, you know? Yeah, yeah it's like see you tomorrow for the next assist. Yeah. See you next episode for the next assist. Okay. Yasha activating smash movement. Oh my oh, goodness. Go. Yasha realized that he blocked the, the, the UI assist and then called his own. Okay, so this is going to be. Not a dead freezer, but it's going to be a good situation. Yeah. Level three here from Android 17. Oh, Esports? Golden time. Electronic sports. Cross your arm, show him your sponsorship. Here we go. There we go. Oh, oh. the block. Oh. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> that was some Street Fighter 2 Vegas stuff. You that's, saw that? That's freaking Tom and Jerry, man. It pulled that's the... <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I would like to add that, that that old cartoon run run sound, you know, like when this happens, because <laughs> that is exactly what happened. Regardless, Yasha, he's gonna take that Frieza out. Chris G once again down to UI Goku by himself. Yasha sending Frieza back to the nature. Let's go. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. I mean, he got the hit, but let's see if Chris can make something out of this. Probably just gonna go for the knockdown, I imagine. No level three, yeah. Uh. Oh, oh, the wake up <laughs> button, the challenge from Yasha. This uh, could be the end. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, no. I was about to say yes, it is, but Yasha dropping the combo there. Waiting for this a bit more. Okay. Oh, okay. So block oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? That was the most tournament dragon rush I have seen today. Yasha went for the one moment where absolutely no one on earth is looking for a dragon rush. 
gets the opening, and that's going to be the win for the French representative joining Gila in that top 24 winners. We will see Chrissy in losers, still looking to qualify. Yeah. But Yasha is making a statement. He's like, okay, I know a lot of the French guys have been maybe, you know, under, like, under the expectations, or, you know, like, uh, it's, it's been like a lot of challenge, but it's like, I am not here for that. I'm here to play my game, and it's been working. Win see Yasha later today on top 24 winners. We will indeed win and a side. One more match of top 48 winners before we swap into losers. That is a full American one this time. It is Jazz Rap. Jazz Rap. Versus Neo Judah. Mm, the name I've been hearing a lot this weekend. One of the stronger players out here uh, in the US scene, holding it down. And Neo Judai, who put in a powerhouse of a performance earlier on. Absolutely. In his pool. That was, that was excellent to watch. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this will be an all US showdown. Let's go, man. I'm really loving these games. Just non stop great action. Absolutely non stop great action, man. From, from the moment Winners Final started on pools, it's been not, nothing but great games. Let's see. Neo Judai, of course, he's known for his hit has been one of the hit players for pretty much forever. Let's see if he can keep the run going, eager to do well in this tournament. Jazz Rap jumping on for a spot in winners. Top 48, top 24th, or sorry, and I believe that the winner of this will play Yasha then later. Okay. Man, so good to be back here, man, offline. Can't yeah. say it enough. Thank you guys for tuning in here on uh, Tampa Never Sleeps with Dragon Ball Fighters at Combo Breaker 2022, day two. Don't forget to drop a follow on the channel, guys. Show some support. Everyone out here doing their thing. Multiple streamers, TOs, everybody coming together. Tell me, I'm looking on my left. There are like three other streams on the left, yeah. one other stream on the right. It's amazing. Because there are like a million scenes and they're like the opposite side of the room also has like five more streams. This is an absolute massive fighting game convention. I'm all here for it. Ton of fun. While the players do the button check, I was looking at the bracket and the top 24. So the matches for top 8 in winners will be Shanks versus Zayn, Hook Gang God versus Fred, Nitro versus Gila, and Yasha versus whoever wins this match. Okay. Right. On the loser side, we already have Chris G playing Dr. DP, Kite will play Pivot Ace, Kane will play White Black, Friends versus Friends. Yep. And Wade, Noka, Wawa, and Obi Assassin are all waiting for their, uh, for their opening. Okay. Wow, man. Talk about a stacked tournament. Man, I feel like the Dragon Ball community really pulled up yeah. this tournament. Yeah. You know? Love to see it, man. Yeah. It's been a while since, uh, like, a lot of, uh, like, since so many people pulled up as well. And I can't wait to see who gets the final win. We are back in tournament season. Oh, we, we're getting Team Yasha again. It's Jazz Rap holding it's it down. Team Hikari, <laughs> I actually love it. That, uh, I mean, that team, I'll be honest, right? I feel like that team's hated a lot. I actually like watching it. I, I, think think so, I don't hate it. it it's so... Uh, it's a team that like is like best synergy around, right? It's just made to work with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gogeta and Vegito, I don't know if it was intentional by the devs, but they actually have super good synergy together. And then, of course, you can just throw, you know, 17, for example. Tien is great on this team. Okay, here we go. That might be dead, you know. Ah, oh, that bars. There is 17 or no? Okay, no, all right. I think he can kill with this with getting 17 in, but yeah. not entirely sure. Regardless, just wrap. Getting the first solid one, and he wants to get... Oh, there we go. Well, Labgo 21, thank you. Goodbye. No debuff allowed this match. Okay. All right, Neo Judai gets a clean hit there. No pun intended. Oh my goodness. Like reacting to the assist call with the jump S. That was so good. That was beautiful. <laughs> that Hands was, in the pocket. Bro, come on. And then straight to Dragon Rush. Nah, that's nasty. Cannon down. That should be enough to get the kill. Neo Judai very quickly evens it up. Yeah. All right. There we go. Two characters apiece here. And on Neo Judai's side, Losing that lab coat, man, that, that's got to hurt. Yeah, that is uh, the character you want to use to make sure your opponent is in shambles. It's not happening, but great work with the other 21. Okay, there we go. He blast out, follow up now. Level three. Okay. What are you saying? What are you saying? I am blocking cross up. Cross up? Cross up. I'm going to go in front. 
I, I blocked. Wait, which one was that then? I, I actually got hit. I blocked cross up first and then I switched guard and then I got hit. <laughs> I have to be honest, chat, press one. If like me, you got hit. Bro. I have to be honest, when he landed, I, sw I swapped my guards and then the cross up hit me. <laughs> We don't lie out there, Tarant. We just get hit. Oh man, <laughs> that was that was kind of nasty. Neo Judai looking good, man. Like, yo, his margin 21 this whole tournament has been looking outstanding. I have to say, absolutely has credit where it's due. We have an amazing opportunity at uh, getting the top 24 winners. Okay, Andrew 17 now. MVP cooking for Jazz Rap. There we go. Dash up. Oh, this spark up there from Neo Judai. Sparks right back. That is a level three spark, though. On Jazz Rap's side, he is going to get so much meter. Okay, no, just chooses to go for the level three. There we go. Will that be possible? Went for the blitz, but. Yeah, wanted to escape there. Oh, solid one. Oh, no wow. punish on this one. I think he was maybe expecting a dash yeah. forward or something. No more spark on Neo Judai's side. He's just gonna wait for Jazz Rap Spark to run out. Oh, hit A. Wow, hit A is so busted, man. Mad. Let's go. All right, lets him down. Oh, the ah. bro, if he converted that, nah. I feel like that was literally one pixel away from the table. Yeah. Thing, but oh my God, he stole the corner. Thanks. Oh, watch your dome. Jazz Rap saving his life with this. That was a very interesting trade on the 5L. And then straight into the opening, really smart from him. Oh, the blitz from there? Okay, Jazzrat with a call out. All right, here we go. This is going to be big. Probably going to go for, yeah, of course. Ha! Another one of the Yo! Ronaldinho <laughs> Soccer. There Bro, we go. Champions League final is on. Hits playing football. Liverpool, Madrid. Nah, it's a bad hit today. This Let's go. This move will never not be hype, bro. <laughs> I love it, man. Getting hit by this is Even just when like, I oh. get hit by this, I can, yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, that was fun, man. All right, it's here. I'll allow it. He's cool. Okay. Great start for Neo Judai right now. Couldn't have been a better start actually getting the hit with that lab coat. Jazz right now. Oh, I love the defense on this. Uh, back to the perfect time as well. Yep. When you build your team around damage and synergy like this, throwing that debuff in the mix can hurt so much. Yeah. Oh my god. Jazz Rap is doing an amazing job at completely stopping that Labgo 21 from existing. He needs one more opening. Then oh. he gets that opening. Neo Judai panicking, trying to escape. It's not going to work. I'm loving this 17 gameplay from Jazz Rap, bro. His 17 is looking super clean. That should be dead right there. Big Bang Kamehameha and the Spirit Sword gonna do it. Lab Coat is out the picture once again. That's the exact same as the first game, right? Lab Coat has not been a factor at all. Jazzrap has heard the chat. They were like, we're tired of Lab Coat. So like, all right, let me, let me do, let me make that match without her. Okay, there we go. Dragon Rush connects. This hit as well has been so problematic. Let's see. Jazzrap gonna go for the jump pressure. Oh, misses the cross up attempt. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's, what I do. Block. That's what you gotta do. Block yeah. high, react to the low. Yeah. That's what I do. I block high, but I just don't react to the low. <laughs> I've got the block high part down, Tyrant. Crep protect. Just you know? doesn't work out. <laughs> shoes, shoes getting wrecked. Muddy in that. My shoes getting wrecked, man. I can't lie. The, the clean Jordans just got like bare mud on them, you know? Okay, there we go. All right. Right, bring, bring to Neko Gia, but don't forget the damage has been crippled on him. Tap, tap, to the corner. Okay. Oh, great challenge there. He fully expected him to try and get away, and he's not. Okay, here we go. Dunk now. That's the beautiful stuff. Level three there. Okay, let's see it. Right, what are you saying? Cross up low. You got hit. See you in losers bucket, Tarot. <laughs> Man did empty DR. I was thinking empty low. Wow, it's why is it this? <laughs> it's so good. Siri loses bracket. That's all I can say. I, for me, that's the best level three in the game. I don't care, man. That level three is insane. It's too good. Okay. This is too good. Great movement by Jazz Rap. Opening Neo Judai's 21 up. Good damage, but not gonna get the kill yet. All right. Gets the hit there on that Android 17. Again, Neo Judai trying to make some magic happen here. This Majin 21, okay, brings in hit with the level one. That blue life recover. 
Anytime you see that flash on hit, bro, you best be scared. <laughs> you're scared. Yeah. Don't wait. Whoa, oh, yo! All right, we're extending. Gonna build some bar, but not gonna be able to no way. build enough to get the kill. No. Nope. So just gonna try to get something. The small escape by Jazz Rats, but Judai is not gonna challenge at all. He is reacting so well to that Vegito A. He did it in the first game as well. Okay, here we go. Jazz Rat gets the hit. And this 17 gonna be cooking. Yeah, level three on the way with uh, Vegito, I imagine. Yep. There it is. That is the one. Vanish and then let's see. Uh, vanish and, and you go to apply the mix. Good block. Okay, okay. Tej. Yes. No, Jedi trying to hold him into the ground. Nice. Great one. Good nice. Block. Good block. No! <laughs> and it's going to stop at some point. 27, 27, 27. It piles up. And you get the kill, Neo Judai, one character away from qualifying to top 24 winners. Wow, that would be a huge win. Okay. Oh, man. Jazz Rap trying to keep the dream alive right now with this Android 17. He's been doing so much work for him. But the over. Oh, wait, no. Okay, gets out. Oh, he tries to one of you jump. Oh, I'm not really sure. But Judai is there, and you can see his boys. All popping up, He's popping coast. off, you can see Posey, you can see all of the guys behind absolutely popping off for their boy, Neo Judai, moving forward into that winner's bracket, he will have to face Yasha later today for a spot in top 8, and he's been playing absolutely insane, man, love to see it, players came here on a mission, getting the recognition that they deserve for all the work they put on this game, and damn Neo Judai, he's showing up today, man, he's been really, really showing how much he gets. He's been looking super good. Super good. From the, from the first game we saw him on stream, man, he, he, he was out here with something to prove, and he's done it. Top yeah. 24 winner's side now. Now you just got to win one more game, and you've made it to top eight. But it's not going to be easy with the pool of competition that we have. Oh, absolutely not going to be easy at all, guys. A ton more coming up. But before we jump into the loser's bracket of that uh, top 48, we'll take a very short break, guys. Get a drink, get a snack. We'll be back in a few minutes for the loser side of that top 48. The first match we'll go for is actually Cloud. About Cloud 805 against Vermeer is going to be the first match of that loser's side. Back in a few minutes with the loser side to see who joined all of these players in top 24. See you in a few minutes, guys.
Welcome back to Combo Breaker 2022. We are finishing this segment of top 48. We're moving to the loser side of the bracket right now after a couple of very, very, very interesting uh, winner's bracket side, right? Obviously, we've got a couple of uh, surprise with former champions from Europe going into uh, going into losers, obviously. We got quite a few of these. We got quite a few new players showing their faces and putting so much work. I'm thinking especially of Neo Jedi, right? Taking the Frosty Fosting champions down into that loser's bracket. And we are now moving into losers to see who else gets the win. Who else gets qualified to top 24 losers? Let's find out. That's going to be a ton of good games. And considering the Shark Tank that this loser bracket is, we're already starting with everyone's favorite, Cloud 805. The, the, the very same, you know, the Cloud 805. Uh, we had Christy earlier. Yeah. Uh, and we've got another Marvel um, icon in Cloud 805 here. Always a place to watch him. Absolutely. Um, is. Now, you know, not only just a competitor, you know, he's running tournaments, he's doing events. Yes. Uh, he's moving more Trust into the, yes. the, the content creator space as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's always streaming on Twitch, putting out YouTube content. Very, very um, entertaining fellow. So, yeah, go and support Cloud Out of Five, guys. And he's going up against uh, Vermeer. Yeah, Vermeer, one of the uh, very strong players around. So, Vermeer, the story about him, right, is he was on top of the leaderboards of the East Coast World Championship. So he was actually invited to the regional finals in Paris. Yes. Unfortunately, could not make it due to passport issues. So kind of missed that that big, like quote unquote, claim to fame there. But seeing him there obviously is uh, his time a player who puts a uh, lot of work. I think we see him mostly uh, a lot on the the Cloud Warriors kind of uh, tournament, mm -hmm. rather Bakalil uh, on Twitch. He's really really grinding the game, putting a ton of effort, and he's gonna be there to try and send clouds out of the tournament. Well, there we go. He's like, I, I, I might enter your events, but I'm no joke in tournament, bro. See me in tournament. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what this is going to say. I would like to check on the bracket who these two players lost to before, because obviously it is not an easy tournament. The winner's bracket is already hard enough. Losing early can be an extremely difficult ordeal to go through. Let's see which one of these you have. Let's talk about their past talents. I'm currently on start.gg. You guys can, of course, do exclamation brackets to take a look at what happens on this. I know that Cloud beat Kustics in a very short match, a very close match, because Kustics was pissed, man. He was like, I should have won. Ah. I should have won. <laughs> so uh, Cloud lost to Obelisk. Obelisk, in OK. Winners. Yes. The, uh, the super baby. Yes. Player. Uh, so Cloud lost to Obelisk in winners, and now I am currently struggling my way with my poor 4G to go to Star GG. Yeah, it's a struggle out here, man. <laughs> no, no Wi-Fi is pain. Long for man. Jazzrap is the one who sent Vermeer okay. into uh, the loser's bracket. This is why these players are here. Of course, they are still alive in the tournament. And they have decided to uh, watch the intro to Dragon Ball Fighters because, like, you know, we haven't watched it in so long. I love this intro. I'll watch <laughs> it all day. <laughs> I, I would easily just have it. Like, I should just let it rock, man. Every time you turn the game on, it's beautiful. In fact, it's your alarm clock. I heard it this morning, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up, let's go. You choose wake violence every day with this. He, I, I, I've seen Taran this morning. He woke up 5L in real life. That's, that, that, that is a true. Vegeta players, <laughs> wake, wake, wake up kicking the, 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 the covers off, you know? <laughs> yeah! Had, uh, had to happen. But yes, clouds <laughs> in losers, Vermeer in losers. So, of course, tournament life. On the line, between these two, very curious to see which one of these two will move forward as the bracket's getting harder and harder. We're getting closer to top eight. Of course, we're going all the way to top eight today, Tarrant. We are indeed. We are going all the way down to the top eight, which will be held tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow morning, I believe. Is it like 11.30? 11.30. Is 11.30, okay. So let's see. All of these matches, of course, are about to be four. The losers, top 24. We're going to have Cloud to Cloud Fire against Vermeer. We're going to have Hikari against Jordan B. Another East Coast Classic. And we're going to have Reynold versus Kasuga. Oh my goodness. Banger games. Banger games. Indeed. Let's complete. Real teams, yeah? Real, real teams. These are, these are the realest of teams. I've watched her cloud for hundreds of hours. I know that he's a Frieza main. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the, the Kid Buu is kind of in place. But the, the Kid Buu is in place, you know. It's just like it's, it's cloud 508. <laughs> 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 he has a... Uh, 
He has changed, you know. Should, uh, I hate when he's come. Yeah, I hate when he's uh, button check, but you don't know it's a button check. Yeah, so you yeah, kind of yeah. are about to do commentary, but after three seconds, you're like, "Thank you, I sound like an idiot now." <laughs> well, when you when you see them spark in like the first one second, you know. Oh, what a bait! <laughs> 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 oh my god! All right, glasses on. We already. Let's get it. All the match. Oh my goodness. He just eclipses Labco 21, look. He's so huge. Brody's like, get behind, fam. You're only debuffing opponents. I am buff by default. <laughs> you can't debuff this. Might be a buff thing, but I'm buff, bro. Let's go. Man is wide. <laughs> Built different. Okay, let's go. We are going in our broker. Cell Games Arena, come on. We're offline now, boys. I know it's home, yeah. but come on. Right, Cloud has been playing uh, a lot of Genemba lately. Uh, has, has been blessed by the Janemba goodness. And he's playing Team 42. Yeah, this is a great team, actually. Plus Janemba, definitely. A great one. Janemba, an excellent anchor. And we've got a banger, Android 16. Oh, yeah, this is, this is, this is the banger right now. It, it is time, chat, to spam your favorite banger. I respect emote. it. Thank you very much to Let's the players go. for choosing this banger. That's my uh, training mode, too. Yes. I train to this. You know, I, I, I train my adult Gohan looks at this. All right. And then I drop them in match, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start Warrior. Oh, oh no, oh no. Yo, you're going to spark. No. Yes, you have to spark no. that kill right there. Cloud 805 off to a ridiculously good start right now. That is going to be a dead lab coat 21. That could not be a better start for Cloud. That is an absolute win. In absolute a, W for Cloud. Look, and he gets a mix. Dead at lab coat and a mix. Spot. Bro, that was the bait of the century. Bro, Cloud 805. Everything going his way. Yeah, as unfortunate as it sounds, obviously, in this situation, you kind of expect your opponent to spark because he's got to, otherwise he's dead. Bro, honestly, you can't get a better round start than that. Happy yeah. birthday, into spark bait, dead character. Right. Cloud playing the, the, the Dragon Ball Fighters any percent, but Zebroli with a bit of spark as well. Let's see how much he can deal on this. I mean, gonna be a ton of damage. Oh no, drops the combo. Exactly, man. It's Broly, like, don't forget, this character account makes up for like, this character makes up for three characters on his own. Oh yeah. The one-man army. You know, I know we've seen a bit less of Zebroly lately because the diffusions have taken over, but Anchor Zebroly is still scary as hell. Oh. But there we go. Oh, he did, he did not hit that assist, but probably pulled it by default. Bro, that Janemba EX slice is, is something, man. It is, it is amazing. The only redeeming factor I like about this is you can actually jump over it and punish it kind of like a beam. For, uh, unlike, Ooh. you know, Vegito and everything. There we go, Vermeer. Sending nice. it all the way down. Very nice. Oh, oh my goodness, Cal was, he was just chilling. He was blocking low. Yep. So down back and chill, not gonna work. And it's time. So you know, with this life, you are one EX pin away from death. Yes. There you go. Sometimes, sometimes, you just have to take a step back. Bro, that was, that was cursed. You on your own time. I'm sorry, man. I want to stop speaking things into existence. <laughs> I, I mean, to be honest, it's Lab Coat 20, 21. She's on the screen. That was easy mode. The, I the, the, the EX spin is like, oh, <laughs> you psychic, bro. How did you know? How did I know? Wow. I've never seen a spin in my life. Bro. Spain without the A. <laughs> First time I ever hear the joke as well. I'm coining it. Pain without the A. You guys have never heard that before, yeah? <laughs> that was the one like C4. <laughs> Bro. Okay, here we go. Back in now. Fallout F5 again off to a great start. Debuff on the way. There it is. Vegito, now a normal character. Oh, powerful. All right, spots up on the Janemba. Yeah, you challenge in the air with Android uh, with Lab Code 21. Can't do much, and let's see. Cloud, taking his sweet time, already eliminated Sparking. From Vermeer's gameplay, no conversion though. Yeah, that was that was a weird situation. Yeah. All right. Hey, oh wow! You saw how she just went flying off. Yeah. I've seen that a couple times, man. Like if you if you hit that M at a weird angle, sometimes she just turns around. It's really strange. Yeah. All right, we jump. Cloud. Gonna debuff Vermeer's lap code 21. There you go. Yep. Nice. Okay. Some more. That's gonna be the pressure as well. Yeah, that's a dead character. For sure. No bar. Wow, man. Cloud is cooking out here. That's cool. 
Now it's looking mighty fine. He stayed the turn. Oh, oh my god, and that, that 5M, of course, just slaps you down, but no conversion. Yeah, Dario with A assist, look, that was, that was sick. You just chill, you just wait, you know? Oh, uh, maybe expected a backdash. Okay. In one regardless. Getting the jump swords. No, no super though. Just, just gets the knockdown. All right, stagger in here from here. Oh, nice, nice, nice. The fake assist pull. But the damage is going to be very minimal. Definitely due yeah. to the debuff. No. Okay. Besides oh, the right. in. I mean, he's the only character that can do damage now, right? Yeah. Until. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Any Until. moment, any of these could be cancelled into the grab. Okay, there we go. Great conversion from Vermeer. Yeah, that's R 5 l Always gives you a perfect range on this. Vermeer is going to go for the far float spin. Okay. Vermeer has actually been pretty good at just like identifying when Cloud likes to spin. Yeah, it feels yeah, like yeah. whenever Cloud is in the uh, out of solutions, he spins by default because you can't really challenge that, right? And Vermeer has been all right at not challenging in this, uh, in this situation. That's right. He, he, I feel like he, he does really well at mixing up between uh, offense and just chilling and defense, you know? Like, that was a great defensive sequence with Broly just a moment ago. Okay. Shield up. Shield on. Okay, nice. Waiting out again. Look at this defensive sequence. Oh, patience. Nice blocks as well. Oh, Jumps oh. out and the punish on the command grab for Mir. That was gassed, of course, for you guys who haven't left this. The best usual punish to a command grab is up back key blast. If your character, of course, has access to this. And that was perfect. Five for Mir, gonna get the mix after this. Uh. Yeah, use that uh. shot. Oh, no, another blow. Do, no. do, do it again, do it again, do it again. Uh, nope, nope, the stomp is not gonna work. I'm still gonna get the challenge. We go for Janemba. Unfortunately for Vermeer, didn't have any bar there to, uh, to get that kill, but still. Level three now here for Cloud. Let's see what it's going to be. Vanishes in, cross up, slice. Command grab jumps out. Round, oh, he wants to play the orb. Hellgate there. Of course, remember that if you block, the Hellgate disappears. That's about it. You know, all he had to do was literally to go for this uh, E blast, the split finger shot, stop it from happening. Dragon Rush Vermi is fighting for his life, doing quite well, to be honest. Trying to wait for Cloud to press a button, wow. and there we go. Okay, Cloud with a delay, and he's going to get the conversion here. Yep, with that Hellgate. Okay. Brings in Labco, and yep, oh, going to yeah. get that debuff on the big boy. Vermeer, it is looking bad for him right now. Okay, Dragonus oh. EX grab. Should be enough to kill. Yeah, yep. Extension with this, debuff or not. There's still a level one behind. Oh, Vanish. Dragon Rush. There we go. Vermeer. Takes Labco 20, 21 down. Two more characters. And both of his characters are debuffed, so it's not looking like the easiest path on Earth, but you got to fight for your life, Vermeer! That's right. I mean, it's possible. It's going to be uphill, but it's definitely still possible. Oh, oh, man, the big jump heavy. Okay. Let's see. Broly doing normal damage. What is this? <laughs> oh, gets the dash in, unfortunately. No conversion for crowd. Nice! Ah. Cloud waiting for any kind of mistake. And there it was, the Vanish. Got punished with the 2H. Vermeer down to this debuffed Vegito. Oh, I think he can still kill. Yeah, he's, he can kill this. Yeah, yeah it's 5M. Yeah, it's 5M, it's 5M. Do you, even, do you need bar? You don't need bar. Vermeer fighting for his life. It's a 1v1. Vegito and Janemba, the battle of the one touches right now. Let's see it. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, bit of a cautious approach now. Oh my goodness, Ooh, Cloud. You, super dash that, you, know? you can sense yeah. that Cloud wants this done. He wants this closed out. Vegito. Oh! Beautiful conversion! <laughs> that was so good from Cloud805, who qualifies now top 24 winners. Great performance from Vermeer, unfortunately, will not make it through. And that is his tournament run finished. But bam, that was a great match for Cloud. I was, I was, I was believing it for Vermeer, man. He's actually been playing super good, really trying to bring it back on this close. Enough, I do believe that, that uh, the Hellgate caught him maybe jumping back because that was like a, a bit of a weird hit for the corner hit or anything. Uh, and Cloud makes it work perfectly. That was clean. Cloud will move forward in top 24, loser side. I do believe against Wade. I need to check against who on Sutatu.gg. Start.gg, the rebrand. You love to see it, but man, combo breaker, 2022 day two, bro. It's been a fantastic two days already. Like, I'm, I'm, it's it, it's so good to be here. 
Like I'm having so much fun that it's just like expending so much of my energy. Yeah. I, <laughs> but it's but it, it's just the games have been so good. Yeah. It's so easy to get amped up, man. It's been non-stop. My voice is gone. We've had a ton of fun and I've been trying to save my voice because we're still doing top eight tomorrow. Yeah, man. So damn. Let's have it. Ooh, Tarrant Cloud is going to play OB Assassin. Oh, Cloud versus OB? Yeah. Okay. In the loser's bracket. That's going to be a sick match. That is going to be a sick match. I don't know how much of the loser's bracket we're going to run, obviously. But for now, we're going to move to our next game. It's Hikari. Hikari. This is Jordan V, yes. another East Coast classic. Hikari, you've seen him. Uh, he lost to Chris G earlier in the tournament. He would be there with some more pressure to keep being there. One of the, the big hopes you know, of the, the American Dragon Ball Fighter, but very young player, uh, consistently winning online tournaments. Let's see how far he goes into this one. I was talking to him yesterday and he was like, I haven't played that many like offline high pressure situations and, mm. and he feels like he can't, he's having trouble, you know, chanting, like playing as comfortable as usual, right? Uh, I do think he did great at BBB overall for like one of his first you know, big offline one. Yep. And that's like, you need to go through this at the beginning. And that is his time right now. Getting used to it slowly but surely. Play your game. Let's see. All right, here we go, guys. Another match for top 48 to qualify. Down to top 24. Let's see. Loser side, loser goes home. Loser goes home easy. Right there, and the first nice. mix lands and goes for Hikari. Yeah, beautiful stuff. There we go. DR knocked down on the way. Yep, he wants to bring in Lab Coat. Going to get the follow up here. Stomp into command grab. Get that Gogeta damage down. Oh my oh. god, that movement. Yeah. It actually mixed, visually mixed me. Don't even know what happened. I got hit. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's scary for sure. Okay. Uh, into Vegito. I don't know if this is done. Just on the dock. Great damage calculation from Hikari. Yep. Let's go. Hikari starting clean. Oh no! Playing without the A once again. Say what? And Jordan B gonna get a ton of damage plus a debuff. Vegito, yep. He's gonna get brought down to uh, human status. Normal status now. Okay, come on, grab up. That's a big damaging combo as well. Okay, nice tech from Hikari. No, yo, that 2H was beautiful. Really, really keeping his eye on the uh, on the skies there. Oh, right, let's see on this. Okay, that was a good one. Oh, the assist and the cross up is going to open man up. The battle of the lab coats right now, turning in Hikari's favor. Will I be able to debuff her? Yeah, of course. Gonna get it now. Boom. Okay. This has been a very clean game so far, actually. Yeah, Both players have really nice. been uh, really been optimized in every hit, you know? Nice. Again. And you see the micro dash into the 5L. Love to see stuff like that from Jordan. Okay. There we go. Once again, guys. Every hit is going to end in this move. <laughs> <laughs> into level it do three. be like that. Brings him out the corner as well for a left-right mix. What are you saying? Where are you at? Cross up, because you know, the surprise in the corner. Cross up? Yeah, cross up. Yes, yes. cross up! There you go, you blocked. Yeah! Congra my first block of the day! Congratulations! Let's go! No! Oh my god, that was gas! Jordan B. Sending her down. Oh, trying to uh, snipe the toes there, but he carried was already in the air. Point at her, gets the opening. Mm -hmm. All right. Hikari now, keeping things moving. Oh, okay. Unfortunate. Yeah. Or oh, rather fortunate for Jordan B. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Jordan B's like, woo! Let's go. Cool. Dodge the bullet right there. Made it work. Yeah, spark up. I like that. I like that. The character that can do damage. Oh, oh no, the super dash was checked. Hikari's been so good with that. Two times now. There you go. Maria. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, man, that was so good. Spark up. Hikari's on a mission right now. I build a good amount of meter there, but not gonna be able to kill due to the spark for Jordan B. That is going to be Labco 21's level 3. Yep, and he's not dead, but it is a great situation now. Let's see, probably IAD. Yeah, okay. 
Lots of respect. Jordan Mitch trying to not take risk, obviously. Because that, oh ah, my god. There we go. That's the classic of you're not entirely sure where, she will, where you will land. And he got surprised. Labco 21. The last hope for Jordan Mitch in this game, number one. Hikari has looked mighty fine, oh. getting another cross up opening. Tear her up, man. Hikari looking clean as a whistle. These are beautiful conversions we're seeing. I think that might do it, you know. Yep, EX stomp there. That was so good for the little bit of extra damage. That is going to do it. Man, that was that was clean. That was a clean game for Mikari. One of the cleanest I've seen all day, actually. Clean is the one. Yeah. Has been playing really, really good Hikari. Putting in work. One game away from moving forwards in that loses bracket. Okay. Jordan B needs to bring it back. Jordan B's tournament life is on the line here. Yeah. All goes low that time. So annoying to deal with Gogeta's pressure there. The Wreckers. Right. Knocked down. Oh. Tries to DP out. I mean, he turned the situation for himself. Nice Dragon Rush. It's a weird thing that you call the assist before and do DP and it actually stays safe because the DP comes out so quickly. Yeah, yeah. Like, you've seen like Yasha doing it a lot with the. Uh, the Barrier Assist as well, which covers it perfectly. Great start by Hikari. And uh, you Ooh. know what? We counter these. Yeah, the counter. <laughs> and count I'm gonna debuff you too. Into guess what? <laughs> Surprise! Another one. Okay. Just enough bar there for that level three. Jordan gonna go for the level three mix. Where is Jordan? Okay, reflected it in front. Woo! Damn, the conversion, man. Those, those assists are so good. Absolutely. Easy peasy conversions. All right, here we go. Into the Big Bang Kamehameha. Ah, okay. IAD gets the hit. Gogeta going to work now. I think that's going to do it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. It's Gogeta. He feels the son of meter. The combos are clean. He carry, of course, the master at these. Wow, no second bar? Oh, you're going to need two bar. I would forever be impressed at Gogeta's damage output in this situation. And I've been, Vegito, I've, hey, covering it! I've been impressed by Hikari's damage calculation. He didn't he didn't spend any unnecessary meter. He just waited because he knew. Okay, here we go. DP in the corner. Smash effect. DR. Hikaza! Let's go. Okay. Putting the pressure on. Ooh! The Spark Save Team. I don't think you would have reacted to that command grab there. Great mix. Jordan B. Opening Hikari up finally to put the pressure on the blue Vegeta potentially swapping to a lab code. Optimization! Cool. Level one into level three. Did he have any levels? I don't know if he did. I don't think he did. Ah, uh, I think that's alive? It's hard to say. It's gonna be close. I'm, I'm calling it alive. Yeah, I don't think he's dead. That, well, I'm actually shocked. That imagine goes. lying. Bro, that did if so <laughs> much damage. Imagine lying. Wow, man. Oh, I, let's go. There's, a, there's been a few of those today where it's been so hard to call. Yeah. Here we go. Like one pixel. I usually use the, the spark icon, right? Because when you when the level 3 starts before the spark icon, it usually doesn't kill. So it was right at the beginning. That okay. was big. Here we go. What? Nani! Clip that now! Nandato! Get the... Nah, nah, nah. That was actually silly. How? What? Literally how? What did I just see? No, come on, man. <laughs> this character's unfinished. What was that? Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, and the 2H there. Hikari is going to close it. Hikari qualifying to the top 24 losers after like a very interesting couple of interactions. But he took the best of these interactions, right? You don't have to do a much more than this. Tarant is still shook. We are. <laughs> Can't help. All right. I guess that's the thing. Man did jump heavy <laughs> the other way. <laughs> okay, sure. Well, like, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I would have called Hikari from that first game. Yeah. I would have I called him to win the set. The way that he was playing was just. Yeah. Pristine, yeah. No, so clean. I absolutely love optimizing the... every single hit he could possibly do. You know, every single combo. If he was in Spark, he went for the optimal routes. That Gogeta stuff, really, really nice. Yeah, I really like this one. Really clean from Hikari. He will move forward in that loser's bracket and will play 
check the star GG. What is the star GG saying for Hikari? Our next game is gonna be a banger, by the way. We're about to have oh. Reynolds versus Kasuga. Bro. Hikari will play Wawa. Wow. That's gonna be a sick match. That's about to be a clean one. Fellas. That's about to be a ready for that. clean one. Let's Ooh. see which one goes. I do believe Reynolds was in Kane's pool, so I think he lost to Kane. Okay. Uh, yes, indeed. Yes, Kane yeah. is the one who sent Reynolds into losers uh, earlier in the tournament. I believe their pool was yesterday. So Kane yeah, was. sent him down, and now it's Reynolds about to face Kasuga. So Kasuga lost his first match of the tournament. And obviously... Gerald defeated him. Uh, very good performance as well from, from him, making it out in losers of uh, this. But that was his start of the tournament, a very difficult start for Kasuga. But he ran it back all the way to the doors of top 24. Any Yamchas in this tournament? I've seen a couple of Yamchas in button check. That's the only time you're going to see him on this stream. Imagine picking Yamcha in uh, the Lab Coat 21 meta. You, you're basically shooting yourself in the foot. This character does like no damage as it is. If he gets debuffed, you might as well just like give up the match. <laughs> just pause, pause on purpose and just DQ yourself. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. It, <laughs> it has to be done. Bro, imagine playing Yamcha and getting debuffed. Like, it would be the most demotivating thing in the world. But he actually heals you when he hits you after that, you know? <laughs> Negative damage. That's he the match. <laughs> oh. My god. All right, let's go. Kasuga versus Reynolds. Of course, this is button check between these players. Reynolds, who is also here, of course, for KOF, which I believe is his main game this weekend. Yeah, uh, yeah. One of the absolute favorites to win KOF. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I was talking to Reynolds. He said that um, he, he the only reason he, he, he does want to do well in Dragon Ball, but he said the, the main reason why um, He's focusing more on King of Fighters because he feels like Dragon Ball is, is uh, an easier game to just come back to and pick up and get into. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like riding a bike, essentially. It's just hard to forget stuff. Yeah, when you have so many hours on Dragon Ball, like, you can't, yeah. you know, get back. That's completely true. I know KOF being fairly new. There was a recent patch on KOF, so everyone has been changing teams and stuff. Yeah, that's true. That, uh, you know, that makes more sense. Yeah, and Reynolds has been leading the way, right? Like, on every single online event, he's winning a ton of them on the NA environment. Now, Doing very well in uh, in uh, clouds tournaments as well yep. recently, I believe. Yep, always out there. Let's see now. Reynolds versus Kasuga. Kasuga, who of, of course, play his team Bathwater enthusiasts. Of course. And Reynolds with the signature Krillin. Oh, are, they, are, they agree, are they agreeing on? Are they agreeing on a a soundtrack? Okay, nice. We're not. I don't even know what this soundtrack is. Fighters Cup Broly. I'll probably recognize it once I hear, but sure. I don't know what title this what this refers to. The the only Kefla I've seen in this whole tournament, by the way. I think so as well, yeah. Well, I haven't seen a lot of the Kefla. It's funny because she's featured on the combo breaker art. Yeah. Artwork. That's but it. We, we, we haven't really Biggest seen Biggest claim to fame. Fair fusion, yeah? Not interested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I see this one. That's the Herrick. Like one. I didn't know that was the, the name of that song. Yes. Okay. Reynolds is. It looks like he is focusing on level ups here. He went for one right off the bat. I mean, always. That's a lot of what he wants to do. What a two H by Reynolds. Oh, there we go. Oh, he got two. You better spot. Yep, 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 yep. He got two, and, and more importantly, he got lap code 21 in this happy birthday, right? Wow, that couldn't have gone better for Reynolds, honestly. Yes. I mean, he's not gonna kill 21. Nah, 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 nah. It won't. It doesn't get two. Yeah. He's gonna have to get her in somehow. Oh, the barrier, of course, from Kasuga stopping Reynolds from approaching. Yeah, who's just trying to slow things down here. But that's a win because now, you know, oh. wow. Outplayed. It's, it's, a, it's a win for Reynolds because it means we're not going to see Labgut 21, uh, you know, not really much better of a debuff for the next, what, 10 seconds because of the blue life, right? Yeah, just snapped her in. Yeah, all right. That's not that much damage taken, but to be honest, it can, be, it can put her in a one-touch situation with the right medium starter. So let's see uh, how this goes. Hey. Reynold waiting. Not gonna do much. Yeah, just chilling. Yeah, happy to wait full screen. And Kasuga is just oh. using the fastest beam in the game because yep. she needs it. And and that's something that we know that Gogeta 4 kind of struggles with, man. It's those beams, it's those that neutral game closing the gap. I mean, he does have the 2 3 6H, but it's not full full screen. So, yeah. you know, you guys really think about that option. Alright, so I mean, Kasuga taking the first character down. Oh my wow. god, so they're gonna hit up the auto combo as well. That's gonna be massive damage. Yeah, big damage. 
Android 18, not really known for that huge damage, but in that kind of situation, yeah, she can make you bleed. Oh, donk. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Dom domestic, domestic violence, bro. <laughs> you have to chill. Man's throwing rocks around. All right. Here we go. Ah. Okay, blind mix. Oh, oh, man, that's hard to deal with. Same side. Same side. That's brilliant. Either life has to go. He's going to uh, most likely debuff. Yeah. That's brilliant there. There we go, knock down. Okay, beautiful. Brilliant now. Not in a good spot. Oh. All right. I don't think I'm doing enough damage anyway to kill there. Probably bring in Kefla. Oh wait, is that dead actually? I think that's dead. Yo, optimization. Man, Kasuga is serious about that. He, you know, he really does lab out these optimal situations. Beautiful. Clean. Has been putting so much work. Kasuga with the lead on that game number one, looking to send Reynolds back to the KOF land, but it's not gonna be easy. Lab code 21. To a player like Reynolds, this is sounding like an absolute threat. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Knockdown, debuff on Kefla just in case, you know. It's always a good insurance policy. If the character's not dead, you want to be, be able to cripple that damage output as much as possible. Plus Kefla is not the biggest character, that, uh, biggest damage character ever as well, so... That's right. That makes her having even more trouble trying to get in. Oh, the 6 Oh Yeah, I think you're right. Like, like for Kefla to deal damage, he needs to hit you with like an M near the corner. So. Look look at the uh, sadness. The okay. sadness of this. Debuff City coming up. There it is. Oh, no. Bro, into Kefla. Oh, done. No. Wait, what? Was she locked? Why, did, why didn't he DHC? That would have been the game. Yeah. Okay, oh, whatever. No. Maybe she was locked out, but that's yeah. okay. Kasuga. Getting the one regardless, once again, the man who lost his very first match in this tournament, absolutely bringing it back. One game away from going in top 24, loser side, and I do believe fighting a fellow French as well. The before for the team kill. Reynolds now. Oh, that was a great block from Kasuga. M start as well, this is big. Two levels there. He's already at four, man. The next combo builds it. Level yep. five now. The next combo builds it. Yep, and he's going to use that, that barrier to get it, I'm sure. Oh, no. Unfortunate for oh Reynolds. God. I mean, any hit now. Any hit. He's probably not going to use that hit from Kefla. Oh, no! Bro. What happened? Oh, I, th I think he, yeah, he just wanted to get Kefla out, but Bro. that is bad. That's, that's, that's dead. Kill her. That is bad. Get her gone. Because he gets everything. He's trying to build that third bar. He can't build the third bar with a combo. Kasuga has one chance to come in. Okay. And he's getting the spin. Pain without the A, with a ton of damage. I do believe he can kill that Tyrant. Yeah, that's going to be it right here for Gogeta. Oh man, you know that is a heartbreaker for Randall because he had that level 7 active. Ah. Oh, that sucks. He literally had 2.9 bars. Yeah. All right, Gogeta goes down. Randall does have a chance here. Krillin with the upgraded uh, Android wife. <laughs> The, the latest optimal model. This is the Mrs. Tillier Man team. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, the spark to get away, but Reynold is just respecting Kasuga on this all the barrier. Not gonna get much anyway. Oh my goodness. Oh barrier! Yo! That was so good! Kasuga, the king of the barriers, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's see. Okay. Barrier suck. Sparked up. <laughs> Bro, come on. <laughs> okay, this is going to be overkill right now. The damage is going to be immense. There we go. Stomp. Boom. Okay, Reynolds pulling this back here. Let's go. Okay, the delay backs off just in case of a spin, perhaps. Right. No, not yet. Back to neutral. The two lap goes looking at each other. Who will give up? Oh, Who will give up first? No! He got two, but yeah, unfortunately, that wall bounce will take away. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, hard, the hardest. Bro. Of oh, he wanted the stomp, I believe. Yeah, he right? the stomp. Oh, good luck by Kafka there. Has to respect the boy. Oh, my God. I mean, I like the attempt, but yeah, that's not going to work, buddy. Oh, here we go. Oh, you want a dash block? 
Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Invisible mix. Let's see if it's Vegito style mix. Yeah, this okay. one is visible because you're too far. You need to hit like higher okay. for it to be invisible. Tap, tap, tap. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? Time of the door. Oh, and there no. we go. The reflect is baited. Reino putting the pressure on. Reino will pull in this back. Disrupto disc. No, he wants to bring in 21. Okay. Here we go now. Kassika down to his final character. It's going to be that Kefla. I think if there's a debuff on Kefla, it's good. Yeah, for nice. sure. It's already hard enough. Nice. Great take by Kassika. Great tech. Nice. Okay, cross up time. Yep. Just gonna go, go for the 5 LLL. Oh, oh I, I did not realize! I didn't even clock. Here we go. Shenron, what are you gonna wish for, Kasuga? Another character? Of course. The character's back! Bring back that lab coat. Thank you, Shenron! There she is. I can now debuff again! Yeah. <laughs> That's huge. I can now debuff again! Is that the first uh, Shenron in tournament? I think it is! Okay. Kasuga was ready. I did not keep track of the Dragon Ball, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I wasn't even looking at that. Awareness. Awareness by Kasuga. And now it's a one touch away from that Labcoat dying on Reynolds' side. And there oh. we go, Shenron completely turned the table. Oh, I think she's dead. Well, there we go. Hate her some more, bro. Wow. Chat was like, oh, cool, there's no more Labcoat. No! Yo, Kasuga wanted that debuff a bit too much, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, nice tech there from Kasuga, keeps her alive. But Reynolds, wow. All right, send me another 21, man. You know the, the Goku versus Cooler movie, yeah? yeah? You kill one and you have like one million metal coolers coming. <laughs> that is Reynolds' life. Oh, Reynolds just had to kill a ghost. <laughs> Damn. How many more do you have in that factory, man? Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, had the opening. So Got to watch out for the Taiyoken indeed. Gets the opening regardless. Kasuga. Going to send Reynolds into the corner. Going to go for the mix. Yep, knockdown time. Probably going to get level yep. three on the way. Let's see what the pressure's going to be following this. Reynolds has to guess correctly or it could be over. Tournament life on the line. What's it going to be? Hiolo, Hiolo! Oh, mid! That was mid! What did you do, Reynolds? That was an empty jump mid! And, and that, that hit! Kasuga gets the win, sent Reynolds out. What a play. Kasuga. Who needs mix Bro. when you got mid? Kazuga is a su super, super strong player, man. Reynold going to drop out the tournament here, make it top 48, but he will not be in the top 24 loser side. That is going to be that. Top 24 is set. Ooh. I think top 24 is set indeed, Tarant. We can very quickly review what's on top 24, because okay, that is it. what's next. We're going to go for a short break before top 24 starts. And of course, run it all the way to top eight. On the winner's side, we've got Shanks versus Zane, Hook Gang God versus Fred, Nitro versus Jilla, and Yasha versus Neo Judai. Whoa. And on the losers, Jazz Rap playing Adrian Riven, uh, and Chris G is playing Dr. DP, Kite versus Pivot Ace, Kane versus White Black, Wade Kasuga, Noka versus Fog, Wawa Hikari, and Obi versus Cloud805. Wow. It's time for us to sign off, Tarans. I believe it's Dunk and Acoustics who will lead you guys through the next segment, top 24 all the way to top eight, gonna be a ton of entertaining matches. So for now, guys, as for us, we're gonna sign off. I'm actually gonna put the bar to play my strife pool, trying not to get one, two. Uh, pray for me. Good Let's luck. go and have some fun on Combo Breaker 2022. It's been a great weekend. Tarant, we will be back tomorrow for the top eight of Dragon Ball Fighters. Until then, guys, get a drink, get a snack, and back in a few minutes for top 24 of this tournament. Let's decide of the top eight right here on twitch.tv slash Tampa Never Sleeps.